Hello, today I wrote a blog post about on my blog here about the new autoloader feature inside AutoCAD 2012 products and basically what I do here is I create a C sharp project, create a DLL who gives you access to a command inside AutoCAD. Basically everything you did before, but before you had to create the registry keys who loaded the DLLs and made sure that you could access the commands from the command line but now the autoloader will do everything for you so what it does it checks inside a certain folder for uh, bundles and those bundles are basically um, folders who contain all the necessary information uh, to make sure that the, the plugging works correctly in this post i explain everything how to do it so just read it through and and try to recreate everything I did here and if it doesn't work you can download the bundle you can download the c-sharp project and, and look at it it's it's not really that hard it's, it's just basic stuff and once you've done that you can do what I'll be showing now and what, what I want to show you now is how to create a setup project in, um, in Visual Studio that will create an MSI and place the plugin you created earlier uh, at the correct location and that way you can easily use your plugin inside AutoCAD. So we create a new setup project and we call it uh, Autoloader um, Installer for example, Installer and inside the application folder we place the bundle that you can download from the um, post. You have the assembly file in it with the commands in it of course and you have the package contents xml file which has all the information for the um, autoloader um, to load the plugin correctly and um, that will of obviously give you access to the, the, the commands that you wrote inside the assembly file now the only thing you have to do is you have to make sure the path where he has to place the bundle is correct so in the default location so the application folder properties default location you place the location you wish to place the bundle in so or you place it where all users can use it or you can place it inside the roaming profile of the current user which should be the app data folder and then autodesk application plugins but here it's for all users once you've done that the only thing you have to do is make sure that the user can't select create the well select the installation folder himself so we remove the installation folder dialog box from the setup projects and once you've done that you just build your pro projects once that's done you open your project so basically my projects are stored under my documents visual studio 2010 projects and then i have autoloader installer Autoloader or debug, and there you have the MSI, the um, Visual Studio created. So you launch it. You can even, oh, I can even do this. I can even open AutoCAD and show you that the plugin will be recognized once I install it. So let's open this and this and show you how it works. So, yes, next. Confirm installation. It will install the bundle inside the um, the application plugins directory okay it's installed so it placed it at the correct location and in AutoCAD you see oh autoloader example has been installed successfully so it, it it detects when you install the bundle so when you run the MSI so that's really cool you don't have to close the the, the AutoCAD application and then you can say okay auto loader example and launch it and it will load the method uh, written inside uh, the um, DLL file so that's really really cool um, and basically you don't you don't have to do a lot to make this working you can also uninstall it by going to your control panel and then programs and features and then here you have autoloader installer and you can just uninstall it you just have to make sure that AutoCAD is closed even if you have AutoCAD open let's show you how that works 
if you have it open you don't have to worry it will say okay you have to close AutoCAD first because before you are able to install this so it will try to remove the program or the plugin and it will say I'm sorry you have to close down AutoCAD first to do it you say okay close AutoCAD and it will deinstall the plugin so that's basically how it works. If you want, you can download the project from my website, website, not website, my blog. And I hope you enjoyed it. So I think that's all about the autoloader. I've tried to dig a little deeper inside the uh, XML functionalities later on, but for now, enjoy what I, I have written so far.